Welcome to the second lecture. In this part we're going to simulate a backward facing step in OpenFOAM. Here you can see the geometry of our domain. Um, it looks like this. And it consists out of three boxes which we're going to implement in the block mesh dict. Um, on the left we have our outlet and on the right uh, on the left we have our inlet and on the right we have our outlet. So um, it will be a stationary, incompressible, turbulent flow. So this time we're not going to use the EcoFoam sol solver, but the uh, simple foam solver. So let's copy the tutorial. Enter your um, open foam folder, tutorials, incompressible, simple foam, and choose the motorbike tutorial. So we're going to copy it, paste it on our desktop. Let me rename it to Lecture 2. Okay, now let's get started. First of all, uh, change the name of the zero folder. Delete all run and all clean. We're not going to use it. Delete this folder, try surface, we don't need it. In the poly mesh folder, delete boundaries. Um, okay, in the system folder, delete cutting plane, this one, this one, read fields, D delete it all. Okay, now every clean, clean setup. And now let's set up our geometry. So open up the block mesh dictionary. Um, I already prepared the geometry, so I'm not going to explain it again how to use block mesh. So I'm just going to uh, open it up. And I'm just copy and pasting my file. So uh, again, I have defined all the vertices, um, the three blocks as I've already shown in this image. So this is block one, block two, and block three. I defined them. Um, I defined all the surfaces, the inlet surface, outlet surface, type patch, top and bottom walls, front and back. Um, yeah, just solve it and that's it. Close it. Now we need to set up the boundary conditions and initial values. So we're going to enter the zero folder, delete this folder, include, delete new T. Um, yeah, so we have four files now. P the pressure, U or velocity, and K in omega, um, which are uh, fields for the turbulence simulations. K is the turbulent kinetic energy, and omega is a dissipation rate. Um, I'm going to explain it later. So let's open up the U field. Um, okay, our internal field will be set to zero. Now the boundary field, I'm just going to open up my my case. I already set it up. Ah. So, let's open up U, I'm copy and pasting it. Um, okay, we're going to set our internal field to 10, so our solution will converge faster since um, the outlet will have a velocity of 10 meters per second. On the outlet, as you already know, we choose a zero gradient boundary conditions. Um, on the walls, we have a fixed value of zero because there are no slip. And front and back will be empty because we're going to simulate um, it's two dimensional. Okay, save it. Now we're going to have a look at our uh, pressure. 
So open up the pressure, I'm going to copy and paste my file. On the inlet, as you already know, zero gradient. On the outlet, a zero pressure condition, so there's zero pascal on the outlet. Um, top and bottom walls, zero gradient, front and back is empty. Just like for the pipe tutorial in our uh, first lecture. Um, now I'm going to open the K file and also this one. So I just copy and paste my file. Um, it looks like this. Um, the kinematic turbulent energy is set to 0 0.5 um, in the whole field for the um, internal field. On the inlet we have a turbulent intensity kinetic energy inlet with the intensity of 5% and a uniform value of 0 0.5. Uh, I won't be explaining how to calculate those values. If you're interested in it, just read um, the papers on the k epsilon and k omega model of w Wilcox and it explains how to um, calculate them. So for this tutorial we're just going to use uh, 0 0.5. For the outlet it's type 0 gradient, top and bottom walls 0 gradient, front and back empty. And now the turbulent dissipation rate uh, this file um, it's also 0 0.5 if you want to know how to calculate it read it up Wilcox um, has explained it um, for the inlet we have a fixed value 0 0.5 for the outlet 0 gradient top and bottom walls 0 gradient front and back empty so save it and now we have our initial and boundary conditions set up. Now we're going to have a look at the constant folder. So a block mesh dictionary is set up already. Let's check our RAS properties. RAS stands for Reynolds average Stokes or Navier Stokes equations. So let's open it up. Here you define the RAS model. So the easiest way to simulate turbulence are the Reynolds average Navier Stokes equations. Basically there are three models, the K epsilon model, the K omega model and the K omega SST model. Um, the K epsilon model is used for free shear layers. It um, gets pretty good results for free shear, shear layers and the k-omega model is used for boundary layers um, and the k-omega SST model combines the advantages of both models and eliminates the disadvantages so in doubt just choose the k-omega SST model it's, it gets pretty good results so um, let's set it to k-omega SST um, here you type in turbulence on so we have turbulence on and if you type in off then you're just going to calculate the laminar solution print coefficients on all right so let's close it and then transport properties in transport properties you define your new this is the kinematic viscosity um, for the tutorial it was set up for 1.5 um, uh, exponential minus 5. Uh, let's check my file. Okay, I left it like this, so just leave it. It's maybe the viscosity for air, I don't know, but it should be like this. Okay, um, now we're going to have a look at our system folder. So the FV solution and the FV schemes, just leave it as it is. Those settings are pretty fine. Um, yeah, what we're going to have, 
to do is editing the control dictionary. So open up the control dictionary. Our application name, simple foam, start from latest time. You can also type in uh, start time, but let's uh, make it last time, latest time. So the start time will be uh, zero. Stop at end time. Um, let's have a look at my file so I can compare. Um, okay, end time will be 3000 seconds. Our delta t will be one second. Right control time step. Right interval, let's make it thousand. So every thousand seconds it will save the field. Um, yeah, time form in general, time precision 6, runtime modifiable true. And the functions, we can delete them, we're not going to use any functions. So let's make it like this. Save the file. And we're ready to run the job now. Now we're ready to run our simulation and calculate the solution. So we're going to open up our terminal and change the folder and um, run the block mesh command. So we're going to get our mesh. Okay, check mesh. Mesh is okay. And then start the job, foam job, simple foam, and save the output into our log file. Okay, now the solution is calculated and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right, now let's look at the results. We have 3000 seconds of solution. And um, yeah, let's open up our terminal and let's um, analyze the log file. So um, we're going to use the command foam log on log. Now all the residuals have been extracted. Now let's visualize them with GNU plot. Okay, um, now you see all the residuals for um, the pressure, the velocity, and for our turbulence um, values, omega and uh, k. And as you can see, um, the solution has converged already. Um, yeah, since all the residuals are constant. Um, and now we can have a look at the solution. So let's exit GNU plot. And let's open up Paraview with our command parafoam. Right. Click apply. Um, here on the left, you can click on omega and k so that we can choose them uh, to view them here. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the velocity u. And skip to the last step. Yeah, and here you can see the velocity field. Um, let's have our color map here. So this is our inlet with 10 meters per second. And yeah, this is our backward facing step. Now let's have a look um, on the profile of the velocity on a certain x value. So let's say you want to have the profile of the velocity right here. Um, we're going to click filters, um, data analysis and plot over line. Now we apply our coordinates. So the x value will be 0 0.35. 0 0.35, then y value um, like this, like this, and for z just zeros. Okay, we can have a, a higher resolution, so we choose 1000 points, click on apply, and here you see the profile for all our field values, but we just want um, the velocity u. So let's delete those. This is our u profile, but we have to rotate it by 90 degrees so it matches our view here on the left. Um, 
So just choose this one, points one, and here magnitude for velocity. And here you can see the um, U profile. Um, let's begin on the bottom. This is our uh, wall boundary layer. Um, the velocity increases, um, then it decreases because this is our recirculation area. And um, here you see the shear layer with increasing velocity. This is our inlet speed. And then the velocity decreases again because we have a wall on top. We can also use streamlines for visualizing our velocity field better. So we're going to use fillers, um, alphabetical and now stream uh, tracer. Um, now we need a line source. Let's choose zero, zero, and for y, the whole height. This for z zero, zero. Resolution just ten streamlines. Click here, activate this, and um, let's change the color. So color by solid color, and let's make it black. Ah, damn. Solid color, black. And this one color by you. So it looks like this. Now you have the streamlines and you see the flow. And um, but we also need to view the recirculation area better. So let's change our seed a little bit. Let's put it. Let's say here. Edit the z value to zero again. Click on apply and you see the recirculation area and the flow through our channel.